Are you applying to NYU's medical school or have a laundry list of secondaries that are coming in way too fast and you want to know kind of what that formula is, do research and especially for the why us, like why do you want to attend this medical school or that medical school. Um, so stick around and I will share kind of what you should kind of look out for and then hopefully you can start recycling these as a template. Thank you for joining me on my channel for the best personal statement and secondaries coaching. Definitely hit subscribe and you won't miss a video. So with free tuition, NYU's medical program, the competition is stiff, right? And so we're going to get into what you can start kind of really learning about, really to find out if they're a good fit for you, if you're a good fit for them, all that good stuff. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. I have over 10 years of experience working with students on their personal statements, secondaries, all the writing, all that good stuff. And here is kind of wanting to share some brief tidbits on how to research certain kind of pointers of a school to their specific info very quickly. So let's get started. Step one, learn how to research what they're asking for. So one of last year's secondaries asked, the admissions committee uses a holistic approach to evaluate a wide range of student qualities and life experiences that are complementary to demonstrated academic excellence, strong interpersonal skills and leadership potential. What unique qualities or experiences do you possess that would contribute specifically to the NYU School of Medicine community? This is your typical kind of YU plus NYU equals perfect match essay. For me, this is a nice balance of the diversity secondary and the why us secondary. So you want to show them kind of how you are a good fit, but you also want to show them that you've done your homework basically beyond their brand name, beyond their brand power, to know that you would be a successful candidate there. So like I mentioned, with full scholarship, NYU Grossman is incredibly popular, as you can imagine, before the full uh, scholarship, they were incredibly popular. It's about 9,000 applicants in any given cycle, about uh, 1,000 MMIs are conducted, and about 100 students are accepted into the program. So, so it's really, really competitive. First stop is really find out exactly what the mission statement is and start to, it's not just enough to learn the mission statement, find little phrases, key phrases in the mission statement that you can kind of attach an experience or kind of work ethic, an anecdote, a basic story that you can kind of show them that you can demonstrate that quality. So their mission statement is, we strive to enroll a diverse group of academically talented students with the personal attributes, endeavors, and accomplishments to succeed as future leaders and scholars of medicine. Our ultimate goal is to enroll a student body with a collective desire to improve the health of all segments of our society through outstanding patient care, research, and education. So those three, right? You want to kind of see where you fit in from your kind of extensive academic and social experiences already. Whether it's character traits, personal kind of attributes, endeavors, what you've overcome, accomplishments, what you can boast, and maybe it's a combination of two of those or all three. You want to kind of show your commitment to the trifecta, the patient care, research, and education. So step two is to find what you're strongest and capitalize on that. So if it's patient care, you have ideally an emblematic story that is not represented in your personal statement already or memorable experiences in the activity section. And you can kind of use that to anchor then kind of how important patient care or how important your philosophy that patient care is capitalize on diversity, inclusion, right? Be kind of authentic about it, but you kind of want to, and you want to capitalize on that. Research some of the phrases that I loved from their website, from the bench to the bedside to the community. They have this kind of community-minded guiding compass for their research, and that's very important. So if you've done research that has short-term or immediate positive impact to the community, that is something that you can connect with as well. There are vast opportunities for research, especially if you are between year one and year two, there are summer research opportunities, um, there are concentrations that you can focus on, and so I'll link that below, and you can pick one of those and really talk about that in the secondary, how you've started working on that, introduced yourself to that, and how you would want to kind of deepen your contribution as an NYU medical student. Another interesting, innovative department is a translational program from drug development to population health to healthcare delivery. They're thinking about kind of public policy, how medical care, how access to care affects swaths of community and public health, right? And so that's interesting. And a few medical school students 
and some of them kind of will say, I've talked to them about this specific program, and some of them will say kind of that they had one path academically or professionally that they thought that they were going to kind of, you know, become a doctor, become family practice or something. And then this kind of program opens up the opportunity to kind of think through different avenues of contribution professionally and intellectually. And the program is sounds just incredible. So some details, treating patients in acute settings, redesigning how parents learn to best give their kids medicine, how to replicate in real world and disseminate information and findings. So there are a few different kind of aspects of the program that's great. There are selective courses available and even individual study from autism spectrum, breast surgery, to care of the child with chronic illnesses. They're really kind of thinking about all different dimensions of care, patient care, education, research, and just, you know, an incredible program as you can imagine. So you really want to hit very targeted um, research kind of questions for you for when you are writing that why us secondary and this goes for most of your why us secondaries your kind of information will depend also on length how long the essay is that trifecta right patient care education research and really specifics on kind of name a course really specifics on kind of a research initiative or professor but then also think about reaching out through linkedin let's say to an alumni and kind of learn about their experience and you can write that in with permission but you can write that in and really show that you've kind of done your homework and due diligence to really see yourself successfully there beyond the brand power i hope you found this helpful please give us a like if you are writing your secondaries or are going to start very 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 soon definitely check out my guide in the description below and i will link a couple of these links as well on the in the description so you have that too um good luck and i'll see you soon